guys welcome back to another video and another quick halloween look um this is more like a glamorous look as such um it's one that i found inspo on pinterest for as well pop a picture somewhere um of the inspiration but it is more on the glamorous side of halloween and also it's a fairly quick or for me it feels like it's going to be a fairly quick look to do um so yeah i mean a lot of my looks this year aren't going to be as intricate as i would like them um purely based on time um so they are going to be quick looks more this year um and they're going to be a little bit more on the glamorous side of things um but yeah so we are going to be doing inspo from that photo that i just showed you um should be fairly straightforward basic glam makeup and then i am going to be using this split liner in the shade red velvet from glisten cosmetics but you can use a body paint as well and then we've just got some rhinestones here um and then I am going to be using this palette from Jeffree Star, the Blood Sugar Anniversary Collection. But any sort of red eyeshadow will do. Um, this is just my mainly red palette. And then my basic normal makeup. Um, so yeah. I will also try and do like TikToks alongside this. Um, but yeah, let's just get on with this video. So guys, I'm actually going to somewhat talk through this video instead of a voiceover, instead of time lapse in it. Um, you will hear my fan in the background. It is hitting nearly like 30 degrees here in the UK. It was like 31 yesterday. Um, I am filming this on a Tuesday again. So it was like 31 degrees yesterday. Um, so yeah, it's it's warm, so I need the fan on. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do like a talk through with this one. Um, kind of like a chilled Halloween look as such. Chilled video, that sort of thing. So we're starting out with Aveeno Daily Moisturiser. Um, body lotion. This one I always use. You know I always use it, guys. It helps with my eczema massively. Um, and I do get eczema on my face um, if I don't use it for a while. Um, and my eczema flares up around my eyes. Um, so I do put a little bit on my lids, nothing major. Like it's once I've rubbed it all in my face, it's the excess that I actually put on my lids just to stop any eczema flaring up around and there and then i'm just going to go in with my base makeup which is basically this makeup bag um my everyday makeup so we're going to start off with brows once i find the bits and pieces for it so we're going to go in with my P. Louise Brow Balm. Um, this is one that I got in their mystery boxes like last year. And there's still quite a, <laughs> a lot of it left. Because um, I don't use it every day. I'm just going to run it through my brows. My brows do actually need fixing. Um... Preferably before we go to Disney, but there we go. So I'm just going to run this through my brows to begin with. And then just sort of shape them with it. And 
and then I'm using my um, Primark brow pencil this one is in the shade dark brown so my usual one um, just to fill in my brows it actually needs sharpen so I'll be back so we're just gonna fill in my brows using this pencil um so you guys haven't had like a bit a little bit of consistency with my channel or any social media other than really instagram um recently and a lot of that is to do with um my workload at work um it has been pretty manic we have been in busy wedding season um it is slowly starting to die off um but very very slowly and we are also extremely short staffed at the moment um due to people upping and leaving um for no apparent reason can't go too much into that because I don't know the full ins and outs of it um, but we are a little bit short staffed at the moment um, so I'm having to pick up more hours there and longer hours there so time that I would usually use to film for you guys is being spent at work um, which I'm not going to complain the money's good so it will certainly pay for Disney and allow me to have some more money for Disney. Um, it just means that a lot of things have had to take a bit of a, a back seat. Um, as it currently stands, I have two and a half more crochet characters to make before Disney. Um, so we have also been doing that instead of filming um so it's just really been like a massive push to get everything ready for disney um we have also had some family emergencies happen and things like that which was mentioned in a previous video but just a quick recap my godmother passed away at the end of june and her funeral was in July so we had to go down to London for that and then we also lost one of our dogs um, a couple of weeks ago so we have had a pretty rough time of it this year um, as a family so that has been another thing um, and so a lot of things have kind of taken a bit of a backseat recently um this and my social media being one of them um spending a lot of time with sean has been another thing um hopefully that will resolve itself soon purely because like i've been working a lot of weekends in a row and so i when i would see sean i've been in work um and it's one of those things like gotta go to work unfortunately so things have been taken a bit of a backseat it's why i have decided to bulk film um a fair few videos for my youtube channel so i bulk filmed a couple of um, videos last week uh, you might have already seen them by the time this one goes up then I'm doing this one um, and then we should be ready for Disney videos um, and Halloween stuff to do with that so 
if I do other Halloween makeup looks, they probably won't be on my YouTube channel, but they will be on my TikTok and they will be on my Instagram. So by all means, check out them um, for Halloween looks. And I hope next year I am able to do a lot more in-depth Halloween looks. Um, I'll probably start filming in like May next year for Halloween. just so i've got a decent amount of videos out for you guys um so my foundation is the she's glam skin finite hydrating foundation i switched to this um earlier this year and i do actually really like this because it feels like i don't have a lot of makeup on um with it so I do actually really like that one. Um, now I'm going in with concealer. And this one is a Primark one. Uh, it's the My Perfect Colour Illuminate Under Eye Concealer um, in the shade. Uh, I don't know. cashew um so it is slightly darker compared to what i would normally go for with concealer but it does actually look more natural um with my foundation so if you wanted something that was like really really bright and dry by all means go for a lighter shade but i actually use this sometimes without my foundation just pop it underneath my eyes to cover like any tiredness and it works really really well so and then i also got one of those in a darker shade so i also got it in the shade honey which i use as more of like a um cream bronzer with my contour I'm just going to try and get some more out of this one. So I just pop it above where I would usually put my contour shade. And it's just this like warm honey colour. Um, literally is the colour that it says it should be. And I'll just do it in like this little arrowhead type shape and then i take my contour which is the she's glam sun sculpt liquid contour in the shade soft tan and i just pop a little bit of that underneath this bronzy type shade a little bit on my temples and my forehead a little bit around my chin um and then just sort of sculpt out my nose a little bit now i'm not the best at sculpting out my nose so don't come for me because i'm rubbish at sculpting out my nose i don't normally do it um and then i just blend it all out together and this, guys, is what I would normally do for my base. Um, I'm not changing it up for the sake of my YouTube video. So this is just generally what I would normally do for my base. And then I go in with my blush shade, which is this She Glam um, Color Bloom Liquid Blush in the shade Rose Ritual. And I just do mainly one dot because it is quite pigmented. Um, but if I was going for more of a blushy look, I would definitely do more. 
and then again just blend that out and this is what where I would normally stop for my um, base makeup but we are going to go in with my loose powder this is the w7 set it up special fx finishing powder um this is one that i have used for years and i just keep restocking it um because it just is a white powder um so for me it's perfect because i'm pasty as anything um yeah so for me it is just brilliant for my base um but if you want to use just a regular powder oh, then that is fine this actually helps to brighten everything so where i use a concealer that is roughly the same color as my foundation this just helps to brighten it and usually I use a triangle um, puff type thing, but I can't actually find it. So I'm just using a regular brush um, today and getting it literally everywhere. so that's my powder on on camera i look really really pale but i'm actually not um it's just on camera then i'm gonna go in with um my w7 bronze shimmer um bronzer powder again not something i always use but today we are doing different makeup so it's being used i'm just gonna go over where i put my other bronzer just to bring some warmth back in like i said i'm not actually that pale i look paler on camera than what i do in real life um But it's just to bring a little bit of warmth back into this look. Now I don't actually, I don't believe I have um, powder blush as such because i don't overly use blush um it's only the past sort of year that i've started to really wear the blush um properly so i am gonna go into the, my um blood sugar palette and i am just gonna take the color um turn the pot which is this one just a little tiny bit and pop that where i put my um cream blush just like so just to bring it back in a little bit Now for my eyes, I'm going to keep them relatively um, simple and straightforward. So I'm mainly going to be using the top row for my eyes. Maybe not so much these ones, but definitely these ones up here. And let's see what brush can I use.
I'm just going to pop a little bit of the shade cake mix um, into my outer corner and bring it into my crease area. And then I'm just going to go in with the shade Sugar Cane to blend that out a little bit. And then just to darken that outer corner a little bit, I'm going in with the shade Out. I'm just really going to darken that outer corner a little bit. Just bring it into the crease ever so slightly. And that is the crease and transition makeup done. I'm then going to take my finger because I find the warmth on my finger makes it really easy to apply shadow to my lid. I'm just taking the white shade from this palette called Glucose. I'm going to pop it on my lid just to brighten the eye a little bit And then just using the excess on my brush, I'm just going to bring that back in um, just to somewhat blend into that white. And then I'm going to go in with my liquid eyeliner which is the w7ii captain one again an old favorite that i just keep restocking and i'm just going to do a wing on this eye Okay, um, I'm going to do a wing on the other eye, I'm not just going to do it on one eye. like so then i'm gonna apply some mascara this is the w7 more lashes lengthening mascara um so i'm just gonna apply some of that
like so. I'm going to take that same brush and just again use the access just to add a little bit underneath the eye. Like so, and then I'm going to apply some falsies. These ones are the Sheen um, Half Lashes. Really like these. I actually need to get some more before Disney, so. I mean they're so natural looking um that i really really like these lashes so There you go. So that's lashes on, and then we are gonna do our lips. Um, so for lips, I'm just taking this She Clam liquid lipstick in the shade Cosmopolitan, and the P. Louise bullet lipstick, and. I think this was part of the Rose Garden lip kit, I'm not 100% sure. Or well, the Ruby Slipper one is one of the two. like so and this is like a normal glam makeup you're probably all thinking like this is just your normal 1940s makeup which yeah it is kind of um my usual 1940s makeup so you're probably all wondering like how is it halloween based um and this is where we are going to make it halloween based um as you probably saw in the reference photo, it is a very glam look. So, we are going to start out by taking the split liner that I mentioned earlier, the red velvet one from Glisten Cosmetics, and I'm just going to take one of these brushes. Now these are actually nail art brushes from Sheen, but they work brilliantly for details and stuff like that. So, I'm just going to wet up the slightly redder side on this Glisten Cosmetics um, duo. So these are all water activated eyeliners. Um, and I'm going to start out by drawing where I want bits and pieces to go. And then we're going to do more of a splatter.
so I'm just drawing little bits that I definitely want to be there and then like I say I'm gonna do a bit of a splatter <laughs> splatter spot and I'm gonna go in with the brush um, to add some bits in so I'll just turn my camera so you can actually see what I'm doing because I've got my mirror here <laughs> It's all going to be more on this side of my face um, so I'm not going to do much more than this I'm probably going to pop a little bit on my forehead just so that's not left out There you go. So, um, that is all the splatter I am going to do. I'm not going to go overboard on it. Um, it is easily done to go overboard, but I'm just choosing to stop there because for me that's enough. Um, plus, I've done around my lips, so I'm going to do some stuff to my lips. So, next I'm going to go in with these rhinestones. Now these are just craft rhinestones from the works. Um, but any rhinestones will work. I'm just going to get the red ones out. Um, and then taking some of my lash glue where I put it um, so taking some lash glue I'm just going to stick some rhinestones to this blood splatter effect now this section of the video I am definitely going to do in a time lapse because I need to concentrate on um, this section so sorry all my rhinestones were spoiling but so I'm going to do this section as a time lapse just because I need to concentrate on it um, and then I'll be back once we have rhinestoned this up. this is the finished look I did add quite a bit more blood splatter and crystals than what I filmed for you guys just because I felt like it needed that little bit more um, but yeah this is the finished look you can obviously add as much blood splatter or as little as you want and as many crystals as you want to this look um, but yeah, this is a very quick, fun, glam Halloween look. Um, so yeah, 
All products that I use will be listed in the description box down below for you guys, along with all of my social media, and keep track of my social media for my Halloween looks, because there will probably be some more on there than what there is on here, um, and also keep an eye out on my TikTok for those transition videos, possibly mini tutorials if I get chance. Um, yeah, and I hope you liked this video, don't forget to click the thumbs up, um, comment down below, share and subscribe, um, hit the notification bell to get notified of when I upload, and I shall see you in the next video. Bye guys!